This is a tubeless spring and today we're going to show you how to remove all the textiles in case you want to wash them or you need to conduct small sewing repairs. Okay, we're going to start with the canopy. You're going to want to detach it in the back. It's just a wide Velcro strap or a Velcro pad. And then here are the adapters. You're just going to bend them inwards and pop them off of the chassis. Okay, then you're going to need to remove the canopy struts. So if you look on one side, doesn't matter which side you choose, you'll see a very small metal button. It's spring-loaded, poking out from that canopy adapter. And if you take something small, like I'm using a flathead screwdriver in this case, you can press in on that little spring-loaded pin, and then you can pull the canopy adapter down. So, there we go. One side is removed, or one of those struts. I'm just going to do the other one. Then the, the canopy textiles are actually attached here too, to a little clip under there. So you're just gonna pop that off as well. There we go. And then once you've detached one side, all you need to do is detach the textiles on the other side as well. Again, it's that little uh, like strap or hook of textiles, loop I suppose. And you're just pulling it down over that little clip. There we go. Then before sliding out these main struts that are attached to the adapter, there's actually a third strut in the middle. And if you reach in on the side, you'll notice that they have left the fabric open on either side. And this is so that you can pull that strut through that hole. And then you can slide that one out first. Makes it a little bit easier. Sliding out the middle one first, and then pulling the other two out. Okay, then when it comes to the rest of the seat textiles, the first thing you're going to want to do is to unzip here at the top and detach the seat textiles from this crossbar up here. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is to reach under the seat, both in the front as well as under the uh, main baseboard, and detach all of the straps that are there. So there are these straps here, you're just going to pull down on. They're just like sewed in such a way that they uh, kind of lock through that slit. Just pull them down, turn them sideways, and you can pop them right up through that little plastic slit in the, uh, like the seat frame under there. So. Moving on to the front then. Velcro straps on the side here. We'll see as soon as I get them detached. Just gonna detach them and pull them through that slit again. Like this, it was attached here. Doing the same on the other side. Okay, pulling it out. And then we get to this point here where there's a pair of small straps that are actually screwed directly into the chassis. So you're going to need to unscrew those. Okay, so you're just going to need a regular Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, you're just going to do the other side. Okay, then a little bit higher up, there is one more set of screws just above this joint. That one is a little longer and includes a washer, so don't lose that. After you have removed those four screws, 
you can hold the seat unit above this crossbar and pull it up and these sewed in plastic ribs will pull out of the channels on the inside of the chassis. So then you have your seat unit and this does have a very large backboard and baseboard uh, which are not removable and the Tula actually themselves say that you're not supposed to wash this in a washing machine at all. Uh, you're supposed to hand wash it and hang it to dry. Uh, you have your canopy. My guess is you probably could get away with washing that on a low temperature setting in the machine, but you might as well do what they say since you have to hand wash the seat anyway. Uh, but in any case, that's how you remove the textiles from a Tula spring. We hope this video was interesting to you. And if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you. We need your help. Like most of the economy, our channel has been hit pretty hard by the current crisis. And though we're doing our best to keep everything chugging along, times are tough. If you would like to help us out, there are a couple things you can do. Firstly, if you're using Adblocker, we would really appreciate it if you could turn it off every once in a while. In case you didn't know, as annoying as they are, ads fund all YouTube content. And in times like these, I'm pretty sure all the channels you enjoy and make use of could really use the extra revenue. Secondly, we have a Patreon page. And if you have the ability, signing up to donate even just a buck or two a month would really do a lot for us. In any case, thanks so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed the video.